everyone and welcome to this afternoon's art stream. Uh, lovely to see a few people in chat already. Hello to Kazimov and Cyber Spectre. Always lovely to have you here. Uh, as you can see, we're starting something a bit new today. Uh, we are painting this lovely uh, knight character. Uh, she's got a very badass sword that was lots of fun to do. Uh, and a cool little raven familiar. So. Uh, we're just gonna get straight in. As you can see, I've already started. Uh, I'm gonna start off as usual with the, the portrait and the uh, kind of the face. And yeah, that's basically what I just started working on and what we're gonna continue with as we kind of crack on with this. Um, but yeah, I've had, a, I've had a decent week. I'm feeling much better today. Um, there comes a time uh, every month where I get a lot of headaches, some of them real bad, but those have passed now. So it's time to get on with some art and uh, yeah, sorry for not streaming on Wednesday. <laughs> uh, but yeah, other than that, doing okay. Um, feeling a little bit more chill than I uh, have been earlier this week, as I'm sure I can say for a lot of people. Uh, and yeah, just gonna, time to focus on some work and get productive. My productivity has not been amazing this week. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, I've done the first level of shading on the face. Um, just getting those those kind of initial colors down. Um, so the next thing we want to do is uh, go a step darker, basically. Just gonna add the lower lid to this eye there, like so. And now we can start to pick some darker tones to work through. So, um, hmm, what do we want to go for? As you can see, I've kind of done a quite extensive color palette picking over here. Um, so we've got done that one. I think we're gonna go for the slightly more desaturated brown at the edges of the face. And thank you so much for Rebel for resubbing. Uh, it's incredibly kind. Uh, subs honestly do help massively um, towards, you know, making this what I do full time. So thank you so much um, for that Rebel. So when you've got a fairly steep jump in in tone like this I tend to start quite gently and then steadily work my way towards the the darker color that I'm kind of working towards obviously initially we keep it we can keep it quite uh, messy when we're pacing on this color uh, and then we'll get we'll slowly blend it and, and neaten it up as we go along Just gonna scrub that all in darker for now. <laughs> uh, thank you very much to to Mark Humes and thank you very much uh, Monkey Master Zay for joining us. Best PR. All right, yeah. So we're just gonna add this darker tone to all the areas where shadows tend to congregate a bit deeper. Uh, in this case, a little bit messy there. Uh, around the corners of the eyes, we tend to get a lot of deep shadows. Like so. Yeah, it's kind of coming along quite nicely. So what we're gonna do now is we're just going to eye drop between our colors and just blend this all in. As you can see, you just want to get a nice soft graduation between the tones. <laughs> oh no, okay, Monkey Master Serp, cool, I will remember that one. I'll try anyway, I always say I will remember everyone's names. And invariably, it does not come to pass. The important thing here is just to keep the brush incredibly light and gentle as you are. Oh, Leza, thank you so much for the sub. Amazing, thank you. Always on point. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Namiri. Yes, I'm feeling much better today. And thank you so much for stopping by. Right, 
just going to make this graduation on the forehead a little bit more gentle as well. As you see, if you're not careful, you can kind of end up with these bands of colour, which you want to try and minimise where you can. There we go, that's a bit better. Nice, so we're starting to get a nice bit of shape coming in. Uh, so let's just add a little bit of blending down there below the chin. Move my keyboard out of the way, because it's in my elbow space, which is most important, I have my elbow space. <laughs> um, and we can start getting a bit darker again. Same as last time, once we've got some colour down, let me blend it in. process as I'm sure all of you are by now very aware but we steadily get there as you can see uh, cool so now what we can do is we want to introduce some variation in tone here and there um, so there will be some places where the color is going to change a little bit um, so for example we've got a slightly less saturated version of the skin tone which is going to come over on this side We're going to keep it fairly subtle for now. Indeed, a new project. <laughs> and we're going to take this much richer uh, brown for certain elements, such as under the lips, which obviously the lips are going to be quite rosy. So the associated shadow underneath is going to be warmer. And you're also going to get this effect in the corner of the eyes in uh, the case of this character. They're going to be a little bit more saturated. Assuming Photoshop wants to play ball, which it seems to be doing mostly. No, nope, I literally say it, and then it has a it has a little fit. Let's uh, make sure we save. There we go. and a little bit of colour which is nice and then we can just blend in places where it's a bit too dark take it back towards the light Oh, thank you so much, Monkey Master Serve. Um, that's very kind. I, you know, I say I want to get round to commissions for everyone who asks for them, and I have no idea if that will ever happen, but I'll try. I absolutely hate saying no when I'm fully booked, but kind of you learn to ha that you have to at some point. Okay, so we've got that richer tone coming in there. Uh, we're also going to have a slightly richer colour coming in on the cheeks um, for a slight kind of blush. Yeah, I know Reddit's a good place to get D&D um, character commissions. Personally, I haven't really used Reddit much. Maybe a Reddit noob, but... 
a little bit harsh there. Let's just tone that down a wee bit. There we go. Alright, now we've got these a bit warmer around the cheeks, which is what we wanted. Lovely! Okay, so the next thing to do is... Hmm, I think we need to add some, some of these harsher shadows. We're gonna go for this kind of in-between step, which isn't quite as rosy as what we've got going around the lips and the eyes but it's still a bit warmer. We might as well paint the neck whilst we're in this hurt neck of the woods. Smaller brush for this too, I think. Okay, and then just a little bit more shading up and around here. Alright, it's coming along quite nice. I'm quite happy with how this is going. <laughs> Alright, what should I do next? I think we need a little bit more shadow up here. Okay, just put that across a tiny bit. Um, and what we do need to do is add a bit more shadow in this corner here. Alright, nice, keeping that nice and gentle. What we are going to need to do is some of this shadow, I'm just looking at my reference right now, it's going to come across and down. Like so, to give us just a little bit of shape and slightly darker eyes. So, okay, quite pleased with that. Um, we are going to need to do something similar on the other side. Just paint it out, really. Uh, this character, I believe uh, they're a fighter. I'm not actually sure. Um, I'd have to drag up the original reference. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they are a fighter. kind of just like the continuous blending to get this uh, this line here nice and gentle Quite nice. We're going to tidy that up a bit later on anyway. Um, but 
Yeah, hey, hey, Border Lathalas, welcome to the stream. Nice, you can make it. Okay, so our next step, looking at reference, I think we're gonna do highlights next. So I'm gonna make a layer above the skin layer, make sure it's clipped down so we can't paint outside of that layer. And then we're gonna start adding some highlights. I'm gonna start with this. I usually start with the forehead because that tends to be where you get the greatest amount of kind of shininess. And then just gently uh, blending it back into the surrounding skin. And then we can do the same in a few other places. So uh, this cheekbone will get some nice bright highlight on. And the other one somewhat. And the nice thing is because this is separate to the layer underneath, we can erase without messing up what we've already done. Does this mean we're gonna get a shiny slayer? There will be a shiny slayer, probably not for the skin, but uh, there will certainly be one. Right, so we've got it there. The other places we're gonna need to paint this highlight are sweeping across under the eye on this side. And then gently coming down through uh, the face here. And also over here. I'm not going to get so much uh, just there. There will be a bit more here. And then, of course just blending it into what we've already got around. And then there will be a bit on the chin as well, so let's just pop that in now too. Oops, that came out a bit hard. Uh, thank you so much TMSKing08 and RikSusaki for following. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Okay, so we need to add some slightly uh, brighter lights here and there. Um, but first, I do want to just get this really nicely blended. Kind of like priority, I guess. a bit better. Uh, cool, so light up here we're gonna get even brighter just there and here and likewise I'm just going to have a bit there. And what we're also going to have is a very small amount of side light coming in here.
be super gentle about this. There we go, that's better. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm doing much better today, um, just kind of fairly predictable things, but um, yeah, much better now, uh, and just keen to get back into some good productivity, you know? Alright, so I'm pretty happy, you can kind of see the results of, of the um, highlights up there, so I'm going to merge them down, and then I'm just going to do a little bit of tidying up up here. Lovely. Uh, okay, and then there's going to be a little bit of shadow that I missed out earlier. Just coming down under the nose here. There we go. <laughs> Nightbot doesn't control you, but it is uh, voracious for kicking people. probably gonna be too heavy but we can take it down gradually That's a bit more gentle. So I think the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a start on the nose. So uh, I'm just going to do a quick save. <laughs> I mean, I guess the only in joke you could say is that Nightbot has a, a rather strict habit of kicking people that, that spam chat, but that's the same as most most things. Okay, for the nose, we are going to make another layer, and we are going to pick a nice blush. Similar to what we had earlier, actually. Maybe a little bit lighter. There we go. That'll do just fine. And then we are just going to paint in the basic area that the nose is occupying uh, with what I call my animal crossing technique, which is to start basically with a sort of triangle. Similar to what used to be the default animal crossing nose. Uh, once that's in place, the next thing to do is to uh, blend it in to the surrounding skin. So at the top, that's a matter of getting lighter. And on the side, it's a matter of matching the shadow. And in this particular case, uh, we actually have a slightly different lighting setup to the way I usually paint. So the shadow on the nose is going to really come across quite strongly. <laughs> I'm sorry, Night Nightbot is an oppressor, it's true. Okay, um, so for doing these shadows around the nose, we're going to pick a nice darker colour. I'm going to train it towards red a little bit. And then we are going to add shadow at the base of the nose. Like so. side of the nostril there too. You can see how this starts to, to build the shape of the nose. Um, 
<laughs> that is harsh. Maybe you said it a few too many times and it was like, oh, I sent spam. All right, and then with a slightly larger brush, we are going to kind of outline the edge of the nostril like so. And then kind of soften that line in there. Okay, and we definitely want a bit more colour here, oh, that's for sure. So I'm actually going to bring in some of this much more ready brown from elsewhere. And start to add that in. That's better. And then we can just blend that in to the colours we already have in the area. And then there's going to be a little bit of blending around this line itself. It's a bit harsh. Okay, uh, and then there's going to be a little bit of shadow coming across like so before we are then ready to pop in the diamond. And don't forget to save, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so for the diamond we are going to sample an area of brighter skin tone colour, so that'll do. Might need to make it darker, we'll see. And with a nice small brush just going to identify the area in the nose which has the most light, which is there. And then turn that into a little diamond. As you can see. Uh, and with that in place, then with a much larger brush, we'll pick a point um, kind of near the bridge. Even bigger brush than this actually. And we're just going to draw a stripe coming down and highlighting the main kind of front of the nose like so and that's a nice quick handy way of adding some really nice kind of shape to the nose area with a few simple strokes oh no the puns have begun everyone hide let's blend some of these bits in there okay too then you can soften that with a bit of a blend there if you wish to uh and looking at my reference we're also going to have a little bit of kind of lighting underneath on this part of the nostril there and then just underneath it as well okay so now we've done that we can start to add some of the real dark shadows oh no <laughs> rebel has joined this this battle they will not be out done all right for these really nice dark areas we're going to use this dark brown kind of coming around here in fact i think it's time to i'm afraid not the shiny slayer but we are going to make the overlines layer where we start to um go over the line art that we've already established and i do this mostly to soften it uh, in a lot of places line arts can be too heavy especially going up here we want to retain the shape but without having so much of the heavy lines okay so with that done uh let's turn around and look at the actual nose inside the nose itself because this is going to be dark and we're going to drop down to a four i think just to make sure we can really get the detail in It's just a matter of kind of shading around the shape of the nostril uh, for a little bit. And then work.
working out where the associated shadows kind of come in. Kind of zooming out to see how it looks, and then going back in to add more detail. It's getting worse. And it's basically just a lot of softening colors. Um, whoops, wrong brush entirely. Um, okay, yeah, that's coming along quite nice. Uh, and what we can and will do is we're just gonna add an, a bit of really bright highlight just on the tip of the nose. Roughly there, and then do a small bit of blending just to soften the edges a little bit. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so uh, next up, actually I'm still not perfectly happy with this, so let's just work into this a tiny bit more. That's a bit better. I like that better, that's good. All right, um, can I see, there we go, there's a nose. Uh, next we're gonna do the lips. Um, I'm gonna give her fairly rosy lips, because uh, I think they'll contrast quite nicely with the hair, which is gonna be very dark. Um, so, we're just gonna start off by marking in the top lip. Like so, and then I'll make a second layer for the bottom lip, which has a lighter base colour as usually lips do. Um, so it's a bit more of a pinky tone. Like so. And then we can start shading and blending the two of these. So starting with the top lip, um, we're just gonna take a slightly darker shade color. And going from the corners and the lower side, uh, we're just gonna add the shadow that we can see. And then going down to the bottom lip, we'll use the primary color of the top lip to uh, add shadow for now. It is a human, uh, a human fighter, I believe. Though I might be wrong. It has happened. <laughs> right, slightly large brushes. We've got a little shadow coming in on the bottom of the lip there. And then the corners. And then what we're gonna do is soften this kind of graduation tone. Like so, and then add some shadow to the top of this lip, like so. Nice, so you can kind of see the colour we've got building up here, which is good. Um, nice, okay, so I think it's time we add some darker shadow coming in. This will be back on the top lip. <laughs> Indeed, with a board friend. Also going to get similar darkness uh, coming by on the bottom lip. Just a tiny bit softer. Alright, 
nice, it's coming along nicely. Uh, what I'm going to do next is just add a little bit of texture. As usual, softening the areas of stronger tone before we think about in a minute adding some nice bright highlights to the lips. <laughs> oh my god. See, I've never actually played Pathfinder. Uh, I've always meant to, just never really got around to it. Um, but it does sound delightful. Actually, let's carry this on up a tiny bit. There we go. All right, so uh, in terms of highlights, we're just going to add them in like around there. Hope that translates well. Yep, that comes across quite nicely. And then we can blend them in. Alright, there's the bottom lip. Um, and for the top lip, uh, thank you so much, Ryanex Session Zero Clothing, for following. And also Sabos909 and Amy R, which I completely missed, so my deepest con apologies. <laughs> okay, so top lip, going back up to the layer above. Uh, we've already got some nice dark, um, dark colours kind of selected and ready to go here. Um, what I'm going to do next is we're gonna eye drop from the lighter colors on the bottom lip and now add highlights as you can see um and then there will be some slight again texture coming off that bottom lip um but the main thing i want to do is go up to that overlines layer and we'll do this for top and bottom um and with a, I think a size 6 will do as well. We're just going to go over the uh, line art line because we no longer need that. And then kind of doing the same for that bottom lip. Except for one thing that we need to add that one dark shadowy line right underneath to show kind of the bottom lip shadow. Like so, and we have a nice pair of lips. Uh, but before we kind of finish up, there's a few more things I want to do. Uh, firstly, light reflection line under there uh, and do a little bit of shading around the edges like so oh thank you so much rebel it's been a lot of fun uh and amy i thank you so much um i'm fairly new to twitch as well so don't worry about that <laughs> And I kind of want to, I want to balance this out with a bit, a bit more colour on the nose. Now I think about it. There we go. Just to bring it in line with what we've got everywhere else. In fact, I'm even tempted to make this come down a bit. There we go, that's a bit better. 
Uh, Stu, thank you so much for subbing. <laughs> Subs make such a big difference, everyone, so thank you so much. All right, let's just do the little area um, inside the teeth at the moment. So that's the next thing to really do. We'll start with this really nice dark, uh, deep dark brown that we've already kind of established. And then we can tidy up um, parts of the lips that go a bit over. No, Photoshop, are you working with me? There we go. And the bottom lip. It looks a bit creepy right now. Um, but what we're going to do is take a slightly bigger brush and we're just going to mark in roughly where we're going to have a couple of teeth that will just about be visible. Like so. And then we can go back in, trim them down around the edges. Add more light where necessary. And then that dark kind of drawing in the middle is too dark, so we're just going to uh, minimize that a little bit. Okay, uh, so the next thing to do... <laughs> Don't worry about it, stew making stew. <laughs> Sounds about right. Um, so next thing I would like to do is start on the eyes. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. We are going to uh, merge down the lip and nose layers because we're happy with those. They can stay. Um, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of super cute bright light around the lips themselves. And lines that top lip a little bit. And don't forget to save, very important, thank you very much for reminding me. Um, and now we will embark on the eyes. So going back down to the skin layer, we're going to want to start with some really nice dark plumes. I'm actually going to push almost into pink here. Just to start really making these eyes to pop. Like so, and to the other side. thing to do is to add a wee bit of shadow in here uh, but I am actually going to erase these lines here because they are no longer necessary there we go that's how we're looking at full size uh, and this does allow me to see that this eye needs to come down a little bit just that bit there and then we can start putting some of the light back in. Okay, uh, and then we can add some highlights. Thank you so much, Sylvan Him, for following. I hope you enjoy the stream. So we've got some details on those eyes there. We're going to now jump up to the overlines layer because I want to tone down some of the line art once again uh, a little bit. The black we want to reserve for the actual kind of lashes and lining the eyes themselves. So we'll use this more for the creases in the, um, in the eyelid. All 
white uh, and then we're going to select a really dark almost black and go all the way down to a size four just to pop on a bit of eyeliner draw that across all right nice I'm quite happy with those eyes now uh, I might just add a little bit of dark coming across there like so and then I'm gonna add a little bit of dark pink in the kind of corners here which can then have a little highlight Before we paint the eyes themselves which is always fun so um with a new layer above the skin making actually we we're not going to clip it uh we're going to start by selecting a super deep kind of magenta color and then we're just going to paint in the entire area of the eyeball that we can see black so and same on the other side Alright, making sure that that's all been filled. It looks a bit creepy to start with. Um, but now we can essentially lock that layer and start to add some light. So, as we go up the spectrum, we're also gonna go up uh, in kind of the lightness of the colour. And with a large brush, Photoshop is gonna work with me eventually. There we go, one at a time. No rush there, Photoshop. Uh, we're gently gonna brush on lighter shades like so <laughs> yeah a little bit creepy it's true all right uh and then we'll do the same again One more time, I think. Oh, thank you so much, Lightbounder. I'm very pleased you like it. So yeah, last time. And we have our eyeballs. So the next part and the fun bit is to do um, the pupils and the irises. So uh, making sure it's set to normal but clipped down. I'm just gonna start by actually double checking what color the eyes need to be. Making sure I'm on the right uh, email stack. Okay, let me double check what color her eyes are. Gray eyes with a hint of glow and raven black hair. Lovely, get that uh, kind of goth feeling going. Okay, so for the gray, I'm actually going to base this grey in a dark purpley blue because I think it will contrast nicely with the other colours we've got going. Uh, and also there's going to be a lot of purpley blue effects in the actual armour and clothing that she's wearing. So we're going to start there. I did just notice uh, I want to just fix up a few lines here and there on the layer below. They're not quite that harsh. There we go, that will do. Um, <laughs> that one wasn't one of your best, Ellaren, must admit. Scraping the bottom of the barrel. But keep going. I'm going to add a little bit of sharp shade to the top of the iris um, before. Just softening that gradient. And we're going to jump up to the overlines layer, taking a really dark, almost black. <laughs> Still counts when I smile. All right then, give you that. And we're just going to dot in the pupil like so. And then going down to a smaller brush, 
we're going to kind of fade the pupil into the eye with some kind of curving lines. Like so, and this helps us kind of suck that in there. Sometimes we do need to go over and just reinstate the dark line of the eye above, but that's fine. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is select like the next lightest color with gray. So remaining on the overlines layer, I'm gonna fairly fat brush. Maybe not that fat. Kind of going over the pupil a little too much for my liking. But that looks fine. I'm just gonna go around the edge of the eye like that. <laughs> Yeah, it's really fun to experiment with colour uh, on characters. In my case, um, for that for a reason, I love playing uh, plain touch characters because the sheer amount of creativity you can kind of add with them. Alright, now zooming right in. I'm going to select the lighter bluey grey. I'm going to go all the way down to a 3, which is about the smallest brush I'll ever work with. Um, I'm going to start with a bright ring around the pupil. And then little lines kind of bursting outwards. Like so. And this kind of gives the eye a bit more uh, texture and, and uh, prettiness to it. And then same on the other side. And then what I'm going to do, which is a bit experimental, I haven't really done much before. Going over the outer ring, we're going to kind of do the same. Adding in little streaks from the outside that are darker, like so. Softening that kind of edge line and giving it a little bit more feature. All right, and there we have a pair of eyes. So the next thing to do is everyone's favorite layer, the shinies layer. There we go, <laughs> for Eloran. Uh, and we are gonna select a very, very, very bright, um, white, almost pale blue kind of colour. Um, and then we're going to add a little highlight. Like so. And we have... Oh, that's a bit too much, actually. Just a little bit, a bit too strong. That'll do it. And we have a shiny slayer and we have some eyes. Um... Let me zoom out, kind of see what they look like there. Um, and they have a little bit of glow to them apparently, but we can add that in a bit. Um, something else I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start add doing some tidying up elsewhere on the image. Um, so to start with, our tidying up begins on the chin. Where we're going to smooth out the actual line of the chin itself. Um, Being a bit darker. Because it's a little bit, it was a little bit rough before. But now that's nice and smooth. And we can also add some shadow to chin. And we're going to do the ears as well before we then do the eyebrows and the hair. And don't forget to say thank you very much, chat. Okay, so neck. Going back down to the skin layer. Uh, we're just going to start by putting all the shadows where we want them before we can start adding the light where we want that. People are still putting fireworks off outside. <laughs> November the 5th was yesterday and you're meant to be in lockdown people, what you doing? So then we can go up a bit, add a little bit more light. Blend it in. 
as so much of this process is blending. <laughs> and then I'm just going to add the back light going up the back of the neck a little bit there. And then of course we're going to need um, these nice darker shadows coming in under the chin. Like so. And then we can start looking at the ear and that kind of area. So first of all, let's just add a little bit of shadow there for that hair that's coming across. And then we can think about the chin. I'm just going to do a tiny bit of tiny bit of side light there. And we'll do the ear. Yeah, let's do the ear now. Cool. So using that really nice dark, super dark color for the inner ear, because that's going to be fairly saturated and very dark. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more shadow around the outside there. Let's blend that in. Like so. And then we are free to shade the rest of the ear. And that's going to be, again, more blending. going to be highlights. I might even do some of these on the overlines layer. Like so, and we have an ear. So finally, as you see, there's not really any other areas of bare skin on this character, so we're just kind of working on the face. Um, so, eyebrows. Now we know this character has really deep raven hair, so we're gonna keep them very dark. And we're gonna have a base of a deep kind of grayish purple. See how that turns out. Uh, I'm also gonna, whoops, merge that one down. And call this eyes, just so we know what these layers are doing. <laughs> Thank you so much Cool Beans one for subscribing with Prime. If anyone else has a, uh, a Prime subscription, just lay around, they're not using. Uh, I would appreciate it so much because it just massively helps, basically. But yes, nice dark eyebrows are really going to help bring out the uh, the eyes themselves. Dark eyebrows and pale eyes always are a good combo. All right, and with that initial layer, um, we can then start adding some highlights. I'm going to do these in a grayish kind of bluey purple. Oh, thank you so much, Shannon J. <laughs> I aim to kind of make it fairly chill. Uh, I know we've all had quite stressful weeks this week, so. Right, then going up to the overlines layer, pushing a bit more towards blue as we put in the light. There we go, we have some eyebrows. And let's save again before we lose everything. <laughs> oh, wonderful. I'm really pleased. This character's been a lot of fun. All right, so now we're this far. We don't actually need the palette layer anymore. So we can get rid of that. And we can do the hair next, I believe. So now we're going to make a layer underneath the skin. And we're going to obviously name it hair. And we're going to start... Uh, by giving it that nice dark purple that we've already um, kind of identified for the eyebrows. And we're just gonna throw it on down. And just paint away a nice kind of face layer. Like 
so just getting all of this hair kind of painted in. And we're going to add a lot more kind of stray loose strands once we've painted the main body. So uh, it's going to get a little bit scruffier as we go along. Oh, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. Bit of Rachel Vice kind of in the features. Now I can get that. It's okay to say. Don't mind people, uh, you know, saying, "Hey, that looks a little, little bit like so and so." It's just when people go, "Oh, that's totally just X from Y," and you're like, "Well, it's not." But. <laughs> I like drawing um, hair in movement, it's really fun. So having this kind of being billowed away, kind of back on the head a bit, was a lot of fun to, to do. Thank you so much, Amy, for subscribing with Prime. That's very, very kind and I appreciate it massively. Um, to all new subscribers who may not have subscribed before, um, you should all now be able to access um, the Discord! I have a, a Discord for everyone who is either a Twitch subscriber or a Patreon subscriber. Uh, and basically, I'm just trying to create a really, um, like, chill, safe community to talk about art or, like, talk about your D&D games and your characters. Um, we've got areas there for sharing your own art uh, and kind of asking for feedback or tips and stuff. Or if you just want to kind of show it off, that's, you know, an area for that too. Um, also, talking about video games, we had like some Among Us chats down there like a few weeks ago, which was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, check it out if uh, if you have subscribed, you should now be able to hop on that, if Discord's your thing. I haven't actually painted perfectly straight hair in a while, usually characters have curly hair. <laughs> Oh, it didn't like the link anymore. Oh, it might be because we did update the Discord because some people weren't able to get in. Uh, so we might need to post a new a new link in chat. Which I will make sure I've got all fixed already for next time if uh, if Stu is making stew. with the, the hair heading in when there's lots of kind of loose bits you have to end up switching brush sizes quite a lot which uh, means it can take a little longer blocked in which is awesome <laughs> yeah they don't let people who pun in so <laughs> okay so now we've got that base texture done what I'm gonna do is uh, just clean up the skin a little bit as you can see there's a few areas down here we've gone over our lines a bit which is very naughty and up here don't want the head, the forehead to bulge too much, so. And now's a good time to tidy it up. more fireworks <laughs> all right so now with that hair um painted in what we can do is this is how i always paint hair um oh, thank you so much for the sub gift leather you really are wonderful <laughs> uh 
Um, what we're gonna do is we are going to shade this hair. Um, where is she now? I went the wrong way. We want it to be shaded in purple rather than blue. Uh, so I select this darker shadow color and I just roughly kind of just like splob it on down. And then uh, I select the lighter color and I roughly kind of paste that in there as well. Um, so then what happens is I go to filter uh, and just blur that all. So what we've got is a nice gradient between the light on one side and the dark on the other. Um, and then the next fun trick is to eye drop from the darker part of the gradient, switch to my hair rendering brush, which if anyone is not aware, um, the brush I use for rendering hair um, is, you can Google it, it's called the Lewin Fur Brushes set. I believe it's on Gumroad, uh, you can kind of pay what you want for it. Um, but it has the most wonderful brushes for rendering hair and fur ever. Um, and I love them to pieces, they've made my life so much more happy and joyful. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, you can just start to render out. I usually start from the hairline, uh, and if there's a parting, often, um, you'll get quite a lot of shadows in there. Just gonna come down across like so. Just identifying any area where shadows are gonna be present. Is Discord being bad again? Since when was technology ever flawless? <laughs> Lezaf is always wonderful and generous, and we are very, very grateful. Thank you so much. All right, we're nearly done with this shade of the shadow. As you can see, we're gonna need to go darker. For the next bit, I might just add a little bit more curling around up here. Like so. Awesome. Um, so now for shading the darker areas, we are going to want to take this a step darker. So just gently kind of rendering out the direction where the hair is flowing, making sure to kind of follow that direction as we go along. And then in places where we need to add that extra bit of dark, we can do so. Up here. It gives us that nice kind of texture that I like. Okay, um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is the opposite. I'm gonna um, eye drop from the lightest part of the gradient. Oh yes, let's make sure to save. <laughs> we don't want to lose everything we've been doing at all. <laughs> uh, awesome. So the next thing we do is now we've highlighted from that light part, we can use it to add subtle highlights elsewhere. So, okay, and with that done, we can add some more extreme highlights. So, uh, jumping up the, uh, the light, we are going to make this brush smaller and then use it to add some nice, bright, shiny to make the hair look nice and glossy. So 
them? <laughs> I am brushing the hair, it's true. And there are a few other areas we can add just a hint of light. Oh, thank you so much, Leza, for stopping by. Have a lovely evening. All right, so uh, with that hair mostly in place, uh, what I'm going to do, making sure that that's uh, safe there, um, is I'm going to add a little more in the way of shadow in some areas. And they're going to actually be quite purpley shadows because they are coming from the hair. I'm going to keep the brush incredibly light as we do them. Yes, this colour is what we want. Perfect. Wow, people are really going ham around here with the, uh, the old fireworks, huh? Pretty sure they shouldn't be doing that. Alright, so, uh, now we've done that, let's have a bit of fun, let's go back up to the overlines layer, which we're all very familiar with, pick a nice dark colour, and go down to four. So now we can add some nice stray uh, bits of hair. to get that kind of scruffy, windswept look really coming across. Mm, maybe not quite like that. I don't like that breaking that line quite so much. No, I don't like that either. I'm very picky. Maybe just a very small bit coming in like there. That works. All right, and um, what I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna experiment a little bit um, with the colors. I'm gonna grab an overlay set to a kind of light pink. Um, looks a bit wild to start with. Great fun for characters with purple hair. And we got like the film noir music on as well. <laughs> that I quite like. So we're, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a blur on this to gently change the colour of the hair. Makes it a little bit more natural than just the straight blue. Uh, I'm just turn the opacity down a bit. I want it to be fairly gentle and then merge that down. I like Bonfire Night for sure. And I, I totally like firework um, displays when they're like actually organized ones. What I don't like is people laying off fireworks in their back gardens. <laughs> But this is because I'm a dog owner. Well, not right now, but I've kind of come from a, a dog ownership family. And oh, firework night gets very stressful. Puppers do not like. There we go. I think that makes that bit look a bit more natural too. All right, so we have some lovely hair. Um, and we're coming up on a one hour of 20, which means we're actually doing really well for time. Uh, so I'm going to do a little bit more experimenting. As you can see on the skin layer, I want to mess around with the colours a tiny bit. I actually want to push towards blue in some places. Let's go for shadows. Yeah. Definitely like that. That's much better. I'm going to do another save. <laughs> oh, from Kinder Faking, welcome to the stream. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Alright, so next steps. Hmm, I'm just gonna have a little look at my reference on the email. Oh yes, let's add some uh, some glowing light to these eyes as they are meant to glow a bit. So we're gonna pick a super light, gentle blue. Uh, roughly just paint over the whole eye. Creepy alien eyes. Um, and then we are gonna set this Ooh, linear is pretty. And then we're just going to mess around. We are going to stick on a blur. 
to give those eyes a little bit of a gentle glow like so and I think that looks quite nice with the hair colour as well I think that works quite well um oh, thank you so much um and yeah I'm quite happy with that as for the glow um what do I want to do next that's a very good question I think I'm gonna just turn it off for a minute I'm gonna go down to the overlines and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint a little bit over this part of the face. Just to soften this line a little. Just minimize how heavy the uh, line art is in places as well. There we go, that's really smoothed that out, which I like. Uh, cool. I'm not going to do the armour quite yet because I need a lot more reference prepared for painting armour. <laughs> um, and we're going to save again. Hmm. So, let's double check in colours here before I start on the, um, on the fabric of the, kind of, the, the costume. I'm thinking we're going to stick to the bluish purple kind of, uh, colours. Oh, it's a Google Doc. I love Google Docs. They make my life so much easier. So, for the armour. Dark metal half plate. Hmm. Yeah, I think the blue, the blue is definitely what we like to go for. And some for like highlights. But I think as a general rule, this character has fairly monotone colours. So we're going to paint the fabric a dark grey to start with uh, and I might kind of match the dark grey to the hair a bit this kind of purple and start with that as our starting point so what are we going to do first uh, I think we're going to start with this half cape that's coming off of the shoulder oh, let's just rearrange these a wee bit and let's bring twitch back where did twitch go that's not right we need that there we go <laughs> And don't forget to save. I did save. We're good. We did the save thing. So uh, we'll see how far we get through this. But for now, let's just block in uh, the fabric of this half cape. There we go. Photoshop just had a little, uh, little wobbly moment. I can tell it's getting to that time in the evening where I'm super hungry because my stomach is super rumbling. Whoops. That went a bit too far. There we go. And then we can just carry this collar around here. Like so. Oh, lasagna, amazing. I made lasagna a couple of nights ago. We had the leftovers last night and I'm just sad because there's no leftovers left. All right, just kind of ghosting the, the pen over to make sure that um, we haven't got any transparent parts. And a small brush just to do this little bit in the corner. And then, oh, there's also a little bit down here to do. And then we'll do the bit coming down under the arm as well. Switch up to a big brush just to put in some of this area. Painting down the side of the armour. Up 
through here and then across to meet up with the other side and then last but not least coming up here uh, just to fill in this slightly fiddly bit over all right uh, now we can swap up to a big brush just to paint in this area nice and quick and thank you so much to Excel Krillex for following and also Mad Cat Wolf and Real AV3 Gamer who I totally missed earlier. Uh, so thank you so much for following everyone. It's just over this side of the canvas. I've actually managed to wear down a patch of my tablet, which is not great. I mean, well, I've had it for nearly two years at this point, so I guess it's not super surprising. But it means that uh, I can get quite the opacity if I'm painting there. All right, so we've worked out the, uh, the cloak. Uh, now we are going to make a layer on top of that. Uh, make sure it's clipped down, set to multiply. Then picking a nice pale kind of grayish magenta, we're going to fill that entire layer in. And then the magic happens. No, not really. Uh, we're going to pick a white for the paintbrush. And we're going to start, oh, when Photoshop catches up with me, to paint in the light by removing the shadow. This is usually my favourite way to, to render light and shadow when it comes to clothing. I'm sorry. Yeah, the uh, I'm very, very, very pleased that uh, these videos can be somewhat uh, relaxing in this rather stressful time. Um, the complete um, video for today's stream will be up on YouTube as soon as I can upload that. Hopefully sometime this evening. Um, it will go up if you miss the start of uh, the stream. Um, now that I have a YouTube channel, I, uh, yeah, I try to uh, keep everything up to date on there. So if you missed some earlier streams and want to see some more of uh, basically what you've seen today, check out my YouTube. I will drop the link in. And a little bit of light just here. So it's going to reflect off of the um, um, the armor somewhat. And the nice thing about painting in white means we get a gradient for, for blending. Okay, and then going doing very much the same thing underneath. Ah, wonderful. Well, yes, indeed. There is where you can find the uh, the YouTube, so. Just gonna add a little, a couple of highlights down here. Most of this will be in shadow, of course, but there'll be a few areas of light. Alright, so next thing to do, choose a dark colour for some deeper shadows and start working those in. Whoops, I've just realised I'm going over the top bit a bit. Let's uh, get rid of that. some of these to the top part as well. Alright, uh, okay, so the next thing to do, going back down to the layer we actually painted the colour on too. <laughs> oh my goodness, hello. I am a D&D &D fan, yes, I am currently playing in 
one, two, three games and DMing one of those. Uh, I'm DMing um, for a small group of friends who kind of asked me to a little while ago. But uh, yes, I do play a lot. And I have a lot of my own characters that I do not get to draw as often as I'd like to. Alright. Just gonna blend a tiny bit um, these bits in. that nice shine on the fabric there and we're going to do the same thing down here in a few areas where the lights really kind of hitting this part of the cloak whoops let's uh, just erase here again that will probably do that so let's do another save what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly add some nice little black trim. So we're going to make a layer above. Uh, this one's going to be super dark. Oh, that'll be really cool. I've never played Pathfinder, so best of luck with your GMing. Alright, so now I've got this nice dark trim, I'm gonna add some cool stuff to it. We are gonna make a yet another layer, um, and we are going to select a slightly lighter grey. And going down to a nice small brush, I think a 10 will do, it's gonna paint a stripe on the top and the bottom. like so. We'll go down to a six for this next bit. Oops. And then the same on the bottom. Once that's in, we're going to make sure that layer is locked, and then we're going to do my favourite thing ever, which is painting shininess onto trim. So with a nice big brush, uh, we first identify where the light's going to hit. In this case, it'll be there, and here. Goodness me, the fireworks really are going at it right now. And then we just gently brush the light into those places to get a nice kind of shiny effect. And I'm even considering going onto that dark layer actually. Adding a few layers of light on here as well just to match. And there we have it. There's going to be a bit more on there soon, but we shall see. Uh, okay, so I think that's probably a very good place to leave it uh, for this evening. I've been going a good good amount of time, got loads done. Um, so I'm going to drop some links in chat, starting with my Twitter. If you enjoy the stream and you like my artwork, consider following me on my Twitter. It's where I upload most of my finished pieces, as well as having updates about when I'm streaming, when permissions are open, all that kind of thing. And a very good idea, thank you. I will certainly say. Whoop. Um, oh, let's also turn back on the eye glow because that's fun. Uh, next up, if you're not super into Twitter but you use Instagram, uh, I also have an Instagram. For pretty much the same stuff, occasionally there will be some miniature painting and costume making on there too. 
Um, but yeah, that's Instagram. Next up, if you're purely interested in seeing my portfolio, ArtStation is where you want to go check out. Uh, I've got a load of stuff on there, usually my best pieces make it onto ArtStation, so if you want to see more of my stuff, check that out. Um, YouTube, we talked about this earlier, but I do now have a YouTube, uh, which will have all of the past VODs if you want to watch some of my other streams, or catch up with this one if you missed some of it. Um, almost, almost done now. If you've enjoyed the music in my stream, it's all by a wonderful uh, artist named Kai Engel. You can find their work on the free music archive, also on Spotify. Um, so definitely check that stuff out. It's very cool, it's royalty free and just very atmospheric a place. So I like it anyway. And finally, lastly, if you enjoy the work I do and want to kind of support what I'm doing, help make it my full-time occupation, uh, consider throwing a bit of support my way on my Patreon. Um, there are lots of different tiers depending on what you're comfortable with starting just at one dollar um, you can see bonus artwork I don't upload anywhere else uh, you can see sketches works in progress uh, I've done a few tutorials as well um, so yeah check that out if you're interested and thank you so much to Silly for uh, the subscription that's really lovely thank you it really means a lot um, so without further ado I think that's everything um, this evening uh, I hope you have a wonderful weekend, um, and stay warm, stay safe, and I will probably see you next week on Wednesday uh, at 5pm UK time, that's GMT, uh, and until then, yeah, just uh, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all very soon. Speak to you then. Bye!